Tell me the truth How does it feel To be all dressed up in your coat and suit But you got no time to match it Sounds like real truth Hello again and welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna talk about something seemingly insignificant specifically we're gonna talk about the accessories in this particular case we'll be talking about the real hub holder we all know that accessories in life can be very important they can turn your experience into the nice nightmare but on the other hand good accessories will enhance your positive experience and that's what we're gonna look at today if you look at this particular arrangement here you see the tape hub sitting on top of the hub holder but you see there is a lot of wobble and if you are perceptive you probably heard some knocking as the tape started rolling what it was it was basically hub sliding back and forth on the hub holder that's a problem and the second problem is nothing is holding this hub down so it's free to fly away so to me, that's not a very good arrangement. And to be sure, people tried to make good arrangement there. If you look at this particular piece, and that's something that's readily available on the internet and eBay, and this company has been making it for a while. It's very well made. It's got gorgeous finish. And it's nice to hold in your hand but but as we see here its function leaves a lot to be desired and I decided to do something better because I certainly don't like this knocking noise and wobble and whatnot and I would like to be using my platters instead of reels I just love the platters and if I could, I would just make one setup work and then stay with it. Which means I would like to put real hubs on the platters. This particular arrangement works like this. You have standard AG lock. And if you unlock it, you remove it and you're done. So the question is, how can you make it better? And let's examine different possibilities here. This particular design has nice, some nice elements to it. And I'm not going to badmouth people who did that design. But it can be improved upon. You see they use an expensive screws here for the pegs. Which is okay but there is no hold down option on this item nothing holds down the tape and like i said it wobbles so instead i decided to make my own version of basically the same idea if you will but tailored more specifically to one half inch tape size because that's what i've been using lately on this machine so you can see this particular dimension here is tailored for one half inch tape and yes there are some similarities between the two designs i'm not going to deny that but for example instead of the screws i'm using nicely machined pegs here just an extra touch and it has this hold down feature this lip sits over the hub and it prevents it from sliding up 
It's a minor feature, but it's very important. But here is another one, which is far more important. You see, the problem with many hubs is that their inside hole diameter is very unpredictable. You will see hubs which are oversized and they will wobble like crazy. And you will see some which are very tight and almost impossible to put on some hub holders. So to work around that, I installed the spring-loaded ball plungers in here. You see, this is a quarter-inch body that threads into the body of the part. And it's got one-eighth of an inch little tiny ball that protrudes slightly. You can see it sticks out slightly. So basically it accommodates different size holes by its spring action. So what you have essentially, you just press it in and it locks very securely. It doesn't wobble, it doesn't slide off. And it's not very hard to remove, you just do it like this. And since I have a small machine shop in my basement, it was not a very complicated job for me to do. If you don't have it, you can always find a machinist who would be able to make something like that fairly inexpensively. Of course, you need some special tools, like, for example, you definitely need a rotary table for your vertical mill, but that's something that any machine shop would normally have. Why would you ask me I'm going through all this problem when in fact all I have to do is use the reels? And yes, I have very nice half inch reels. You see this one also has machined insert here which I made. It's very high precision, very high quality reels and I like it. It's a beautiful reel. But I still prefer the platters. And like I said, I would like to set the machine with platters and not have to remove it all the time. I need to play another tape. And the reason it is tailored to half inch size is that lately I've been playing with a bunch of half inch tapes I have in my possession, try to sort through, decide what to do with some and so on. Like I said, using this accessory is not complicated. You simply slide it in, put it over the lock, and then secure the lock. And you are done. There is no wobble, there is no play. It sits extremely securely. In my case, the whole fabrication took probably a couple hours, but that's because I was doing it for the first time. I had to stop, think about it, make different some changes and so on. If a qualified machinist was doing what making this part, I would say he could probably do it in one hour. The same basic idea can be implemented for one quarter inch tape. You just make it less tall. Different part, yes, different part. Or it could be even the same part with an additional insert. I don't know, I have not investigated that idea. Can probably be done, but I like idea of this dedicated size because that's where I mostly need it. You see, for the quarter inch, you already have some accessories that basically do the job. And this is one of them. It doesn't look like a very high quality accessory, but it works. Or if you would like to use the AG lock, you can modify it like I did here. 
So you can use it with this lock and still provide the same function. So that solution is actually not so bad because it got some spring-loaded pegs here. So it's it's not a bad, bad idea at all. And you can have those for about $20 on eBay. But nothing like that exists for half-inch size. That's why I had to make it. So overall, I'm rather pleased with the result and uh, the resulting part for this particular function. And now let's go to this wonderful piece of music. It is recorded on half inch tape running at 30 inches per second and it is a real studio master. One small additional detail here, uh, you were listening to music through external old tube head preamp, specifically calibrated in this case for 30 inches per second tape. And with that in mind, thank you very much for stopping by again. Hope to see you next time and stay well. Thank you. Bye-bye.